circles. Now we shall discuss about a closed curve which is not a polygon, that is circle. Rubber bands, cap of a cold drink bottle, one rupee coin, top and bottom of a drum are some examples of a circle. Take a one rupee coin or a cap of a cold drink bottle and place it on the paper. Using a pencil, draw its outline. The closed figure so obtained is a circle. The figure shows the boundary of the circle. In the figure, the shaded portion shows the interior of the circle. It does not include the boundary of the circle. The shaded portion in the figure shows the exterior of the circle. The boundary of the circle together with its interior is called the circular region. Now let us learn about some parts of a circle. The fixed point in the interior of a circle from which all points in its boundary are equidistant and is called the center of the circle. The line segment joining any point on the circle to its center is called its radius. All radii of a circle are equal. A line segment obtained by joining any two points on a circle is called a chord. In the figure, points A and B lie on the circle. So the line segment AB is a chord. The chord which passes through the center of the circle is called its diameter. In the figure, A and B are two points on the circle. So the line segment AB is a chord. Also, line segment AB passes through the center O. So line segment AB is a diameter of the circle. All the diameters of a circle are equal. In the figure, line segments OA and OB are radii of the circle. So line segment OA is equal to line segment OB. Also, line segment AB is a diameter. So line segment AB is equal to line segments OA plus OB, which is equal to 2OA. So diameter of a circle is twice its radius. A line which intersects the circle at two distinct points is called its secant. In the figure, line L intersects the circle at P and Q, so it is a secant. We write it as arc AB. A diameter of a circle divides it into two equal parts. Each part is called a semicircle. The portion of the circular region bounded by two radii and the arc between the end points of the radii is called a sector. The shaded portion is a sector of the circle bounded by radii OA, OB and arc AB. The circular region bounded by a chord and an arc is called the segment of the circle. In the figure, the shaded portion is a segment bounded by chord AB and arc AB. The length of the boundary of a circle is called its circumference. Circles having the same center but different radii are called concentric circles. In the figure, the three circles have the same center O but different radii OA, OB and OC. So these are concentric circles.